It's Star Trek time. We're back. Unfortunately, we're back to Wesley. Yeah, dude. You know, despite all of the Wesley, though, <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I was thinking it would be. Uh, it, it's just that whenever it is Wesley, fuck Wesley. I mean, I guess I'll say the a lot of the badness of this episode isn't directly related to Wesley, I guess. Um, uh, Sure. I, yeah. I, th- I, th- I think it's a bad script regardless of Wesley. I guess if if you had made her older and replaced Wesley with Riker, you could probably have the exact same story. Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah, it, pretty it much. Just, it just happened to be Wesley. Though, though, was, though Riker would just beat the shit out of her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Don't you fucking okay. shit shift on me. Fuck you. Boom. <laughs> Backhanded her, dude. All right. Also, r- considering R- Riker's, you know, sexual experiences, he was, he'd probably be way more cool with the That's fact true. that That's she's true. actually like That's some true. sort of weird monster. Yeah, he'd be like, "Hey, he'd be if like, it, well, if it's got right. a hole, wait, wait, if it's wait, got wait. a hole, shape shift into be... anything, right? It's yeah. true. Yeah, and he's like, anything. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. There, there's a later season episode with um, no another spoilers. alien Hashtag species. No spoilers. That no spoilers. Does things. Now, well, maybe if he if he wanted him to shapeshift, you'd ask him to shapeshift to Picard. I'm yeah, just gonna yeah. say that Jean Grey <laughs> had different powers back then. <laughs> uh, it's true. Hey everyone, welcome to Newbie Star Trek. Hello. We actually introduced the podcast. If you're new, welcome. Hello. You too are a newbie. Maybe only like to Ricardo. Newbie Star Trek though. Well, maybe yeah, or maybe both. Maybe Star Trek and Newbie Star Trek. We don't know. If you are, you're like Ricardo who hasn't seen the whole series. He's going along with with us through this journey of potting and casting <laughs> and watching <laughs> the, the TNG. I'm low energy today. I'm sorry. Listen, I bring about I bring as much energy to the podcast as the writers did to their episode. So, uh, fair that's, enough. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, basically, <laughs> so basically, basically the, the premises of, of our podcast is we're, we're watching Star Trek with Ricardo who hasn't seen it before. And if you're a longtime listener, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, uh, if you could, you know, help us out, give us a review at the podcast somewhere. That'd be cool. But if you don't want it, it's fine. It's Whatever. fine, dude. It's you do, fine. You dude. do you. You do you. You do you. No one but has hey, the time. But hey, you know, if you, if you want to do that, you can, uh, you can, you can let us know. Yeah. Also. Also, I should say that this episode, it first aired on February 20th of 1989. So Dan, could you please tell us what happened around that time as you take us around the sun? Zoom. Around the sun (laughs) we go to February 20th. uh, Well, not quite February 20th. Uh, Actually, um, the last episode aired on the uh, 13th. So the very next day. Hey, want an update on Mike Tyson? What happened? Robin Givens, his wife of the time, was granted divorce from him in the Dominican Republic the very next day, which was Valentine's Day, no less. Wow, that's fast. What a, how dramatic. Fast divorce. Yeah. Also in that same week, uh, an, a certain actress was born, uh, Scarlet Witch herself, Eliza- Elizabeth Olsen, oh. uh, was born in that week. Oh. Um, it's uh, with the 16th of February of 19. The younger Olsen sister. Yes, yeah. So uh, there you go. Just to point out just how old this show is. Elizabeth Olsen was born. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, uh, at the box office, uh, last week we had The Fly 2, but it gave way to Joe Dante's The Burbs, starring notable names such as Tom Hanks, Carrie Fisher uh, as his Aww. wife, Corey Feldman as a neighborhood teen, and so on. It was an odd little movie about suspecting Tom Hanks' new and weird neighbors of being ritualistic murderers. I love that And movie. if you'd think you'd like any hijinks that would ensue henceforth, boy, is this movie for you. <laughs> um, I have never seen it. Maybe it's a I bit of a, so It's good. a bit of a cult classic, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I haven't actually seen it myself, but uh, in the research of, uh, of this stuff, I just got curious. I looked up some clips. Tom Hanks has a wonderful breakdown at the end of that movie. 
<laughs> uh, it's great. He shouts so much, and he he wants to kill people. So he becomes what he feared the most. Kind of, sort of. Bruce Dern in a comedy is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Bruce Dern is definitely in that cast. Uh, but you know what else released that weekend? <gasps> Fucking Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure released that weekend. Oh. oh. But it is su- su- surprisingly, in my research, it, I discovered that even though that movie is so well beloved today, it actually never topped the box office of it. No, it didn't weekend. do very well. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually didn't know that myself. So, uh, yeah. I think I think because it came out after Back to the Future and thus, I think what happened was that people thought it was a ripoff. But in reality, it was being developed in, in parallel with Back to the Future. And then it came out later. Because it was in development I, hell for a bit, I think. Who? What? What was it? Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent oh, Adventure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I did think anyone that's think it was why. just a rip off of Doctor Who? I mean, I think so. So the so the writers claim they didn't realize Doctor Who existed, and then they use a phone booth. Because I think originally they were saying, um, "Oh, our travel vehicle is going to be like a van, like a mm-hmm. like a rock van, right?" Sure. And then Back to the Future did it with the car, and they're like, "Oh, well, that's going to accuse us of ripping them off." Let's use a phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they should have used a toboggan. So that... <laughs> no, then they'd be ripping off cool runnings. We can't do that. Yeah. No, that's a bob sled. Get it right. <laughs> Not even close. Uh, I, also, I mixed, cool I mixed came him much in. later. <laughs> they should have used a hot tub. I mixed him okay, in there, there with a the, with a DeLorean and a toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the only reason why it's so funny to us because of that King of the Hill scene. Uh, I don't. I don't blame Dale. He's terrified of that dummy, and I agree. Yeah, it was yeah. a pretty. It was a pretty scary dummy. Yeah, Goose. If if you ever grew up with Goosebumps, the only scary Goosebumps book is Night of the Living Dummy, <laughs> but not Night be- of the Living Dummy too. No, the the subsequent ones become. It's like Freddy. Yeah, be, everything's it, like Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a new nightmare is pretty f- scary. Is that is that the reboot or was uh, that the? Well, that's when Wes, Cra- Wes Craven came back. Oh, came back. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wes Craven would 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 write the ship a bit more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is this shit went off the rails. Yeah. And that's the most yeah. meta. It it's like the most meta scary. movie. Because <laughs> he's don't in you it remember as himself. Freddy's scary. What do you think Wes Craven would be able? Do you think he can make? Is he one of those like filmmakers who thrives on like the constrictions of his yeah. budget? Yes. Okay. So 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 if you gave him an infinite budget, he would make a bad movie. You think? I, I think, think there so. are a lot I mean, of directors I mean, who make cursed. shitty movies look with with, in, un, with unlimited budgets. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that. Like, like I think, for example, if you gave like Spielberg an unlimited budget, he could probably make a really good movie. Because I think he'd know what to do. Same well, for sure. Cameron. Spielberg would, but yeah, yeah I'm talking but, about yeah. people who aren't already used to like exorbitant <laughs> sums of money for their films. Like Zack Snyder. Well, with that said, I would <laughs> gladly trade Wes Craven for Wes Crusher. <laughs> oh man, it's Wes Craven instead. Yeah. On the ship, and yeah. he's, just, he's just pitching horror ideas left and right, and Riker's like, "Leave me alone! I need yeah. to go, I need mm-hmm. to go bang this chick." Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, reviewer who hates us using the word "bang." Yeah, bang, <laughs> even bang though whores. I want to say that we don't actually use that term as much as we as much as you guys just say "fuck." You guys <laughs> yeah. just say "fuck." Yeah. All it's the time. true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, Banging is less look, common. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what is. What is fairly common, though, is this is a terrible segue. But Jesus, thought, are, are you going to say the rapper Common is here <laughs> no, no, guest today? No, no. Come dude. on in, Common. <laughs> no, the the need to Hi, protect everybody. yourself. It's me, common. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he sounds, right? Yeah. I fooled everyone, right? <laughs> you did. Hi, know everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, noted rapper Common. <laughs> Buy my album. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> I've I've lost air in my lungs. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay. Uh our sponsor this week is ExpressVPN. <laughs> as usual. You you know all about ExpressVPN. Yeah. They're uh, the most express. Yeah. Some it's, some it's, are extra. 
Because I'm a fetch. <laughs> this is express. Listen, mm-hmm. if you want, if you want a really good VBN that you use, you know, when you're doing whatever shady shit you want to <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look. No, see, seriously though there are some things that you do online that you're like oh i'm searching something weird for, like for research uh, i may not want to know people to know or hey um i just don't want people my my internet service provider to sell my usage data yeah. to L- market marketers so that they can use me as data for whatever Look, yeah, when I'm on tour impersonating Common, yeah. I need a way to, <laughs> you know, like, cl- cover up what I'm doing because, you know, everyone's going to find out. Exactly. Here's another way you use it. And this is, I, I, I condone this. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you are at work and you work for like a big company and you're on the oh, company yes. Wi-Fi, throw on a VPN and That's no one knows what you're completely- searching. You could be searching Doc, Doc Martin's boots because you're really into them. You could be searching mm-hmm. uh, a weird Al Yankovic vinyl records, and no one will know. Mm-hmm. It's whatever you want, dude. Just okay. go on the VPN. I have I have the perfect anecdote for this. So remember where we used to work, Ricardo? Yeah. Remember remember there was that weird threat that someone uh, might be threatening oh, yeah. the building. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And we were like, what could it be? Yes. And we've ascertained the name. Yeah. But when we tried to Google the name and go to that person's website, it was yes. blocked. Yeah. Well, because uh, when, while we were using the company Wi-Fi, yeah. well, I was able to get through <laughs> With and a open that site by connecting to a VPN. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, shocking revelation therein was? Uh, that, that he thought he was a, a literal alien Christ. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> It was it was something uh, going on there, but there was a you know lot what? going on. We, uh, we were entertained, and uh, <laughs> he got help. I think, and, and we couldn't Hopefully. really get there without the help of a VPN. Yeah, so. we got there fast though because yeah. it was express. We were in the express <laughs> highway. <laughs> so listen, if you want Express VPN, go on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek, and if you sign up for twelve months, you get an extra three months free, which means the whole thing is forty nine percent off. That's only six sixty seven a month, which is a fucking good deal. Wow. I'm going to say something allegedly. Allegedly, okay. this is what okay. I heard secondhand. Okay, I was on okay. the subway and I heard it. Other people talking about it. I heard that if you put on a VPN, specifically Express VPN and <laughs> stuff like that, you can get other movies that are in different countries for like Netflix oh. and uh, maybe a service called D- Disney Plus. You know, I've uh, heard that it, too. it unlocks it unlocks all the Fox movies that are on Disney, Disney Plus. Wait, wait, Disney Plus has region locked content? Yeah, if you oh. if you go to London, they have they have um they have stars as part of Disney Plus, so you could watch all the Fox movies. Oh my god, that's hot really dang. Cool. Yeah, that's a hot <laughs> tip. That's actually a really good tip. I did not I legitimately did not know Disney Plus was region locked in that way. That's very yeah, yeah. interesting. Okay, yeah. well, again, if you want that. Just go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. You get three months free. It's a good deal. You guys get it. Yeah. Let's move on because Tasha has something to say to Ricardo. Ricardo, Alien salvation awaits. Could you please tell us what happened in this episode? <laughs> yeah. It'd be great if if I then Frankenbit a thing where she said, Alien salvation awaits. <laughs> 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 Look, I I'm interested in alien Jesuses. I'm I just want to know. Like, it was quite the rabbit hole. We were we were we spent literally hours of our day. <laughs> yeah, like how wh- what does being alien bring to the table when it comes to being a Jesus? You know? Yeah. Well, I think his argument might have been that Jesus was an alien. Oh, so he just it's just men in black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that, that's um, fine too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um. So the the gang, uh, they're all on the ship, dude. They're having fun. They're on their way to Nvidia Three, and uh, <laughs> they're they got a they got a like a new lady crew member in the front. And I haven't seen this lady before. We, I've seen the other people like that yeah. rotate that are kind of like the series regular extras and stuff. Yeah, but this yeah. lady's new, and a uh, Riker. Um, the actor who plays Riker, I forget his name, but uh, Riker, the Frakes, called, Mr. Yeah, Frakes, yeah, the Frakes. He, he has this, <laughs> he, he says this thing where the, he's like, he's gonna say, uh, "Go down to impulse power," and he's about to touch the new crew member seat, her seat, and he mm. kind of like realizes, like, maybe I shouldn't touch the seat. I, I, like, what do I do? And he kind of like 
he, he gets really close to the seat and then kind of like, so he like swipes at it almost. And it's really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh no. Yeah. It's one of those things where you're like, you're expecting like a coworker that you know yeah. to be there and you're yeah. like, oh, you're I, like, can, oh. I, can, I can, I can tap their yeah. shoulder. But yeah. then you're like, yeah. oh wait, oh yeah. shit. No, this yep. is. Uh, this usually is there's shit. a young boy here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. rewatched yeah. that part. Yeah. It's like, uh. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not uh, Wesley. Uh, we got one take. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Yeah. I am. <laughs> and so, so they're about to pick up some some people at at Nvidia, and the, the and then Jordy's like, "Hey, the fluoride levels are really low on the ship. I gotta fix this stuff to get to get them back up. It's gonna take a couple hours." And so, and and then Wesley's everyone's helping teeth, him. Everyone's teeth will rot if I don't yeah, get yeah. these fluoride levels back. Up. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "Wesley, you, I need you to go get me the 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 Model Three CMT fluoride." corrector thing <laughs> and he's like all right cool that's cool hang on dude no, i'll be right back and so he leaves and then they they're they're they roll up to this planet and it looks like very like it's you, you no, it could house no life it's really it's uninviting it's, it's like venus it's like yeah burned. yeah well, well venus is acidic i guess it's this a place bunch is, of fucking farts. it's like if the whole earth was a sahara yeah. desert i guess like yeah. acid farts yeah and so he's like who would live here but anyway they're like we got they got to beam up some some people they got to be. They, they got to take these people from one planet to another. It's she's she's like basically like the the new the queen that's gonna go back to her fucking country. Ubering again. Yeah, they're Ubering, and mm-hmm. I'm tired of them using the <laughs> the flagship this beautiful ship, dude. Yeah. As a fucking Uber, dude. They're it's constantly the, it's the equivalent. Doing this. It's the equivalent of like let's say like Carnival Cruises. Yeah. Or 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 not or okay even not even that but let's say like let's say U.S. Navy his flagship had like a really it was also luxurious right yeah mm-hmm. and then the, the that it would be the equivalent of using that to transport like an ambassador to yeah. another country and you'd be like why yeah it's, it's like imagine like <laughs> jeffrey bezos in his big ass <laughs> yacht uh, transporting <laughs> fucking turtle like more man and more Mitch and McConnell. more I'm, yeah <laughs> More and more, I'm understanding why uh, the Planet Express ship is just a delivery service. Yeah, it's it's so much more Futurama. Praxial. Yeah, in Futurama. <laughs> it's like they they accomplish the exact same thing by just being a delivery service. Yes. Um, yes. So it's been 16 years since these people have been to rule the planet or whatever, and they're 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 Ubering there. Yeah. And they're like, all right, we're, we're you know beam us up. They're going to get beamed up on board, and so the. Picard goes to the to the transporter. Surprise, surprise! Jason Statham's day off today, so he's not there in this episode. He's been he's on he's on paternity leave. He's been out for a while. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, all the fucking yeah. he does, and now then he's got to take care <laughs> of the kids. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, dude. Yeah. So he shows up, and there's like an older lady, like the lady. She this lady looks like the lady from um from uh, Game of Thrones. The shame, shame, lady. Oh, you know? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like she she actually thought. I, I forget the actor's actor's name, but she reminds uh, me of Professor McGonagall shrunken down. Yeah, like, a little oh, bit. Okay. Uh, okay, her name is bit. Patty Edwards. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I just kept thinking like, oh, that she could have played her. Yes. Yeah. And this, so it's, it's her and this young girl and her young, this young girl's uh, Paula, Paula Patton or something. Like that. And, <laughs> and so she, she's like, she's like, oh, she's like, everything is like amazing to her. She's like, oh, fuck, dude, this is crazy. What is yeah. this shit? And yeah. then a Riker's like, hey, hey, slow down, girl. I could give you a tour of the ship. And immediately I think like, oh, this guy wants to fuck her, dude. This guy, yeah. Riker wants to fuck her. And I, for all I know, he does. Because because Worf gives him like a weird look. Like, oh, boy, dude, she's she's so young, dude. Calm down, bro. Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah. 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 Well, we don't mm-hmm. know how old she is because they're all alien species. So she could be like 100 for all we know. And mm. also, who are we to judge? Look, if you go back and you watch... What's that stupid fucking vampire movie? With the vampires glisten. Oh, Twilight. Oh, oh Twilight. Yeah. yeah, that fucker's hundred years old, dude. That fucker's hundred years old, and that girl's sixteen years old, dude. She was only That's sixteen. That's true. She was only sixteen. <laughs> uh, and and no one better than I. Everyone went to see all the movies. They were fine. They were like, oh, this hundred year old dude, perfectly fine dating this fucking sixteen year old chick. Doesn't matter. I mean, dude. I mean, I, I guess they drew the line at when the werewolf wanted to fuck the toddler. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little like, much. That man yeah. has brown skin. He can't fuck her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's really true. The line, dude. Uh, uh, so anyway, so wow, these are going to be really bad clips taken out of context. 
<laughs> Why do you think I've been silent? <laughs> oh, plausible deniability in Dan's part. <laughs> yeah. You didn't so, even say bang. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Bang. Didn't. <laughs> so, so, so the the, the Game of Thrones lady. She's like. She's like. There's no time for fucking tours. We're gonna show us to our quarters. They got to our room. Now. <laughs> yeah. There's no time for for fucking tours. And so, like, all right, come down, dude. Yeah. And she's like, "Hey, <laughs> we're gonna put you in the like the fucking nice room. It's usually we we hold like horned up old admirals there. <laughs> They're on. Yeah, we usually only do fight scenes in these quarters. Yeah, yeah. yeah, beautiful scenes. We usually only do like old dudes that are like getting young or like old dudes that are like on Viagra and are really strong. <laughs> it's just always old white dudes. Uh, you're the first ladies there, so congratulations. <laughs> and as he's bringing them out, as they're going down the hallway." Uh, Wesley comes out of nowhere and he fucking falls in love, dude. First sight, dude. Oh, yeah. Looks Instantly. at her and says, dude, his heart fucking to the floor, dude. He's yeah. floored, dude. And she, it she is looks, worth noting that it is mutual. Yeah, yeah. Well, she looks down. Well, maybe she, she fell in love with what he had, what he had in his hand, if you know what I mean. Because mm-hmm. um, she turned around and looked for, and she's like, hey, it's one of those uh, fluoride uh, conductor things. <laughs> Jigs. Yeah. And, and, and he's like, oh, yeah. How do you know? Yeah, it's a CPM model. You know, the one with extra fluoride. And she's like, no, I know. It's great. Blah, blah, blah. And then they, there's a lot of flirting here without knowing about the flirting. It's funny because he asks about right. flirting later. And like he's doing it here, he's like he's like in it, dude. Well, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's like it's you. You gotta hate the game, not the player. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um. And he's like, and then she, and then she, like, as she's leaving, she's like, ah, you gotta be careful with these because they'll rip the iron right out of your blood, dude. And uh, and he's like, oh, hot chucks. <laughs> uh, he's all back. <laughs> and Riker and Riker looks. What? Well, this is weird. Riker like looks at her leaving and kind of checks her out. Which is kind of cr- creepy. Mm, yeah. And then he turns around and he looks at Wesley and he's like, you know what? I'm going to step back. I'm going to let this kid, you know, wet his whistle. If you know what I mean. And <laughs> and and he's immediately in love, dude. And and I feel like Riker feels this thing. What is it called? What is it called? Oh, yeah. Pride. That's what he feels. Mm. <laughs> uh, like, he's like, yeah, look at this guy, dude. I've taught him well by example, dude. Uh, and he's like, who is she? And, but Riker does do this thing. He's like, he's like, uh, she doesn't get time for you, dude. She's, yeah. She doesn't get time for fucking. She's, she is destined yeah. to save a planet. Yeah. She doesn't have time Which for is, fucking few, uh, space fucking. <laughs> idiot, I mean, you know, it's, it's literally <laughs> she's a it's senator. A right, she can't have a relationship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> especially, especially I with go, fucking. I was going to go for a much more benevolent Roman holiday comparison. <laughs> yeah. But yours is probably better. <laughs> and, and then like, plus like this guy's a war criminal, dude. She's got no time for that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The funny part is like, okay. This world, I mean, I guess, I guess our, our, our human history has fought over pettier things, but like this world has two warring factions because one lives on perpetual night and the other lives in perpetual day and they hate each other. Yeah. You're like, yeah, it's you, like that you, Pixar short. <laughs> that Pixar short. Which in that bitch ass fucking Wally movie did? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're like, you, you, if you're a new you, listener, if you're a new listener, hey, I fucking hate Wally. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, so listenership plummets. <laughs> yeah, they're like, everybody turns out everybody loves fucking Wally. Um, so uh, he the the credits roll and they they go back to to Wesley and he's combing his hair. His hair hair, hair was perfect. Oh my god! Combed, yeah, this is amazing because he immediately absentmindedly went back to his room and just started yeah. combing his hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because you, because the way it cuts, you think, oh, this is just some time later, you know? It's yeah, no, like, no, no, no. You but find it's out literally quickly. like the next yeah. moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and 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 so he calls Data, and Data shows up, and he's like, "Hey, what's up? Do you call for me?" And he's like, "Yeah, what do you know about this girl, dude? This girl Paula." And he's like, "Dude, all I know is that she's from Nvidia for, and we're taking her somewhere, <laughs> and like that's." basically she breaks down like hey the her parents were from opposite sides they're like romeo and juliet style mm-hmm. and like they they both died and they they took her away and now she's going yeah. back as the the, the her mom the was ruler. amd her dad yeah. was intel yeah they came together didn't and hated each yeah. other <laughs> when the world needed her most she vanished i know, I know, I know. <laughs> she's like she was a coward but now she's going back and you know She'll be, like raised, she'll be raised in a neutral environment. Yeah. And then Jordy's like, Crusher, where the fuck are you, dude? 
we need those uh, fluoride, dude. People are losing their teeth by the minute, dude. <laughs> Why did you walk away? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's he and, and, and Wesley's like, uh, what do you mean? How am I doing? I'm fine. I'm doing great. He's like, where's the goddamn <laughs> fucking fluoride, dude? You piece of shit. <laughs> and he's like, oh fuck, dude, the fluoride. So he he runs it back, and then they they talk to Ken, uh. Counselor Troy, yeah, dude, I fucking got it right, dude. Yeah, nice. uh, Counselor Troy, and and like he's like, hey, what's, so what's up, dude? What's happening with, with these people? Do you feel anything? Do you, is your Spidey tingles doing anything? And she's <laughs> like, well, kind of like she's like, I'm like getting like weird emotions, like they don't they don't fit, and basically she's like, it makes it seem like they're not who basically they it's not who they say they are. They're not who mm-hmm. they say they are. Mm-hmm. There's a layer of deception in play. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the captain does this thing. It's really creepy, dude. He does it like more than once, dude. Where he just like calls in. He's like, hey, can you turn on your video? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, young girl, Paula, can you turn on your video now? And like, yeah. it's really creepy, dude. I don't know. He like never had to before, but for, yeah. for some N- reason. No now, one, we'll, dude. He never, yeah. he never tried to call the horned up fucking admiral. Like, hey, <laughs> can you turn on your video? I want to see you. <laughs> no one. He just talks to them like w- with audio, but her. Oh, can you turn on your video? Uh, right. It's really creepy. Well, wow. yeah. And so basically, he's talking to her, and the Game of Thrones lady is very protective, very protective. Doesn't let her yes. want to let her out of her sight or out of the cabin. Yeah, just to the lock. point of absurdity. Yeah, it's like it's yeah, just absurd. Yeah, she keeps yelling. Kind of. They don't. They don't. They don't really explain why. Yeah. Yeah. Like is is she's not, they don't like say oh she's like hyper susceptible to everything yeah. or whatever it's she's just- hypersexual uh, <laughs> yeah so, the, the, the Game of Thrones lady is like somebody better, somebody better come get her she's dancing oh. like a stripper <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I, mean, I think I lacked all of the context required to understand that one <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> That's me, though. Oh, boy. Uh, That's me. That's uh, on me. So, no, the, the, this lady's like, doesn't want to let her do anything. Like, it's really, really scared. And even when you find out, like, the twist, you're like, it's not that bad. She control her, like, shape shifting. It's not like she's like, she's got uncontrolled shape shifter syndrome where she's like, ah, she'll shift right. into anything. Careful because right. she'll just turn into a werewolf. Yeah, no, they it's really- like, she's got really self, she's got self control over the, her powers. It's very stupid, dude. This is a very yeah. shit fucking. I'm not even sure they even mean script. to imply that the shape shift. I don't, yeah, I don't, that, I don't think that's like, why. I think her, her reasons are legitimate. She literally actually thinks she needs to make sure she, there is no potential harm to her at all. Ever, yeah, anything. But Wesley's like, got other plans. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so immediately, Paula's like, "Hey, who was that dude that I saw in the hallway with the fluoride? It's got beautiful fluoride in his hands." And they're like, "Oh, that's Ensign Crusher. He's he's you know our leading fucking warmonger in this fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> he started so many. <laughs> yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Where we want to start a war, he we just our foremost war criminal. <laughs> 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 call him Doctor Doom. Uh, <laughs> he's like, does he have a does he have a doctorate? And like, no, no, he he's is, just, he is, yeah. he's the crusher. Yeah, you know, he's yeah, constantly true. trying to kill us um, and hold us hostage. <laughs> and so the lady from Game of Thrones shows up, and and she's like, oh, thank you for checking in on us uh, over and out. Everything's good over here. And she just cuts it off, and and you could tell the the lady's like not having it. This old lady fucking hates strangers, mm-hmm. but again for no reason. Yeah, I guess she doesn't want her corrupted. But uh, this is no way to live, dude, or write a script. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so Deanna Troy's like, yeah, well, well, uh, it it feels the same. Like something sketchy's going on. I can't pinpoint what's going on, but mm-hmm. she always has the same feeling. Yeah, you know I mean, like. I, I wish you would say something different other than like, oh, something feels weird. It's like, yeah, I get a weird feeling too all the time. You got to yeah. be more specific, Deanna, Deanna Troy. Be more specific, dude. Dig deeper. Well, get another mm. Betazoid in here. If I can replace your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, always the issue is that she's just, if you just got a regular Betazoid. <laughs> yeah, full-blown Betazoid, dude. Uh, after after a few like episodes, Picard should be like, you should just really get your mom yeah, here yeah. and have her do this. A- no, Picard she- would be the last person to say, we should get your mom, Deanna. <laughs> <laughs> well, she likes to walk around naked. She explained I mean, that episode. I mean, yeah. and Picard admitted the, or she 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 got, she uh, learned from Picard's mind that she 
he was down for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or at least considering it briefly, who knows? And by that, we mean banging. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, now we're going to lean into it way more. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, that's the problem yeah. now. Yeah. Poor guy. Um, <laughs> feel bad for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, so, then this thing happens. It's really weird. So, when they rolled up into the transporter, it was only two of them. The young yeah. lady, Paula, and the this this Anya. Ha- handmaiden's tale yeah Anya yeah Anya <laughs> Anya and and so <laughs> so fucking <laughs> this next scene shows rolls up and Paul is talking to this other young girl bl- blonde girl and I'm mm-hmm. like who the fuck is she they never explain like oh this is my That's my Shelly Johnson Padme. from Twin Peaks it's my Padme mm. oh I know yeah I, I, I did notice that. Uh, but she never said, oh, Padme, come help me. Like, I have this conflict. Like, nothing. Like, she just rolls up and uh, I'm talking to her. But where does she come from? Where she She's not part of the Federation because she's not wearing a uniform or like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh, wait, who, how did she get there? And she got a bunch of holes in her in her shirt in her shirt. And I said, I think they're trying to like make you start questioning things because she comes from the same doorway that Anya had just entered in a previous scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, like, uh, but but already you're you're seeing like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I think on? it's just supposed to be like, oh, what a mystery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then because it's like, like, oh, it turns out you're Anya all along. Yeah, and it's like, don't you love being confused? It's not really like a great mystery. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, she's a shapeshifter. That's yeah. fine. I love <laughs> how it's like at first. It's like, well, okay, we now have an excuse to show you like a pretty lady, and then immediately to like. Morlock fur fur baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, they only apparently the only reason they showed uh, the the lady is because she was the runner up to play Salia in the episode. Ah. And oh. then they were like, "Oh, let's just have you in, in it for a quick scene as well. Might as well." Darn, yeah. Shelly could have been Salia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Salia. Um. So then she turns into like the little walk, and then she's like, oh, "Bleep blop, bleep blop," <laughs> and then and then she's like, "All right, I'll go to sleep, dude." And he like tucks her in, holds her hand, is like, "Do crazy, creepy Ewok shit, dude." Yeah. Why would she turn into that? I know it's like <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't know, dude. Like it's, by the end of the episode, you really don't know because it's like it's not like it's a very arbitrary form to take. Yeah. Yeah. This episode yeah. is just a series of scenes. Like yeah, they don't really yeah. connect. Yeah. <laughs> this Things is the first episode. Ha- this is the first episode of the season where I've been like, "Ah, oh, fuck! Like, why, why did we make this episode? Like, what did they?" Yeah, make this feels like a season one episode. Yeah, a dude. Bit. Like, yeah, this honestly doesn't feel like like if you deleted this episode from the canon, it'd be fine because I guess Wesley would also avoid his like first kiss ever with her, and that's fine because who cares? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it, that's about it. Like, who? I mean, this, we all it, know his first kiss went to the traveler. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, don't tell, don't tell anybody. Let's go, let's go into the transporter room. I heard it's empty. Oh, oh no. like, what the yeah. fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it's still season one. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you! And he roundhouse kicked him. That's why the transporter like started dying. Yeah, it wasn't because yeah. he kept going back in time. It's because he just had the ki- shit kicked out of him. Yeah, but the <laughs> transporter. <laughs> so, so I missed you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Jordy's like, "What the fuck's going on, fucking Wesley? You you keep fucking shit up, dude. The fluoride's never gonna get in there if you keep <laughs> dropping it." And and he keeps messing things up, dude, because he's in right. love. But look. He's we literally all, too horny to function. Yeah, yeah. We all went through puberty. We all went through, oh, we have butterflies for talking to this girl. But I never went through the, like, oh, fuck. No. It's never, never. It makes you question his overall competence yeah. <laughs> to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this guy can't multitask. <laughs> um, but he keeps uh, fumbling things around. Finally, he's like, he's like, oh, this girl, she's great. She's perfect. And Jordy's like, yeah, you fucking pervert, dude. We all go through it, but we just keep it inside, dude. Just bury it deep, dude. And then yeah. we'll turn to rage. It's just funny because uh, I won't spoil anything about Jordy. Uh, go go on. <laughs> so, so then, <laughs> so then, um, so then, like he he basically like Jordy's like, uh, you you're you're no good to me now. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You're 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 horned up. We don't yep. need to know about you. And so mm-hmm. he starts going to everybody he knows about about advice 
about talking to her because mm-hmm. uh, Jordy tells him I should just go talk to her, and and he's yeah. like, how how do I do that? And he's like, I don't have time to explain it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and so he goes to Worf, his his the guy, the guy who texts him in at night. He talks to all the worst people you could yep. be talking to about this. Yeah, he never goes I to Deanna Troy. Who's like the point? Yeah, first person I go to Deanna Troy, I and mean, she's worthless. But he's sometimes, a, he's, but. Should, he's supposed to be a smart person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why would the first person you ask is Worf? I would go to Deanna Troy and go, hey, what are your feelings? Do you think, is it is she going to reject me? And then she'd be like, no, 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 no. It's going to be fine, dude. Go go in there. Um, and uh, so next, th- next thing you see is fucking Worf fucking yelling, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Which is amazingly funny. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad because it's what, a close up, and you think like, yeah, oh, they're probably in his quarters or in Wesley's quarters, and nope, they're on the bridge. He's like, <laughs> yep. he's like I'm going to show yeah, you. He's doing on the bri- He's basically yeah. doing out his work. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, this is like you fuck a chick. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is that he was impersonating what the woman does. I know so, that's weird. I yeah, okay, it's like it was written forward and then not revised backwards to explain why he would be starting with the woman voice. He just it's does like it. he just pulled like he just reenacted that Harry met Sally scene on the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll it's have a, what she's having. It's a Klingon version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Aww. but it was Worf who did it. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then he's like, and, the, Aww, and then he's like, man. and then they start hurling objects, and he's like, well, what do the men do? <laughs> he's like, then they duck. Yeah. Well, they also read love poetry. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like well, the, the men are like the hopeless romantics in this situation. Well, also if if it's anything uh, like the first time you see a female cling on the show, the men also hit the women. <laughs> yeah. yeah <that's> true. <laughs> Yeah. Which is a little weird, but sure, Klingons. I mean, she's in. She was into it. Yeah, I guess. I guess he didn't but really it, hit her so much as he like kind of like al- did like a wrestling toss. It's also uh, worth noting that it was a fake Klingon woman. It was Riker's approximation of Worf's ideal Klingon woman. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It, it remember, took all, <laughs> but it took all. Remember, of God damn it. <laughs> It took all of Worf's willpower to avoid fucking this Klingon woman. Yeah, yeah. right then and there. Yeah. Uh, so Worf gets yeah. really excited to tell Wesley about the Klingon ways and stuff. Uh, but it's really weird because he again he's on the bridge and like imagine you talking to somebody who's going on the first date at work and you're mm-hmm. like, yeah, dude. So this is what first base is, dude. And then <laughs> you get a second base <laughs> and like there's people like going like, dude, this is. We're gonna go to fucking HR, dude. Dude, I'm trying to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's very uh, uncomfortable. Then once you get under her pants, that's third base. Uh, uh, but yeah, the, the, it's really weird that they're doing this on the bridge. Uh, oh, that's know. is that third base to you? Is that is that to you third base? I don't I know. Feel I like don't, the game's been redefined several yeah, times. Yeah. I feel like every okay. few years the the goal changes. The goalpost changes. Okay. Or, or okay. whatever sports we're we're talking about. We're mixing you know? sports metaphors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the bases get longer and like they get they get <laughs> yeah. The bases get longer. <laughs> well, the check the checkpoints get further apart, and then yeah. the the final goal, like the the, the goalie goal. can't oh, really reach. You know. <laughs> across the the, like, t- the touchdown field yeah you know yeah. It's just yeah. the how do i post. get the field yeah. goal from second base and then if you if you try to go from second to third too fast you get in the penalty box because yep. just you gotta you can't go that fast but you fighting is allowed it. if you're a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, did it Metaphor slap complete. shots allowed yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. um who gets to slap shot who yeah. <laughs> what is it? Uh, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, um, uh, and then, uh, as, as, uh, Jordy, uh, not Jordy, as, uh, Wesley's leaving, the captain's coming in. And I thought, oh my God, this is so cool. Like, I thought the episode was going to change and be like, he's going to go to Picard, who's like his dad, because he fucked his yeah. mom, dude. And he's going to be like, hey, uh, how do I talk to this lady? And he's like, well, do you want to know how I talk to your mother? Uh, <laughs> and right, so, right before she left the ship, yeah, right before I, I sent it was her so off. it was so devastating. She yeah. could never return. Yeah. Why are we suddenly talking like Picard is Connery, Sean Connery? Yeah, I don't know. I don't weird. know. <laughs> <He's> a, <laughs> if they put one of yours in the in the hospital, you put one of them in the morgue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then they uh and, and i thought that's gonna be a great fucking scene dude like like a, a good like father son like hey just be cool be yourself kind of thing you know like just 
talk nope, about just walks things right you know. Past him. <laughs> yeah, and he just like, nope, nope, don't want to know what this guy has to say. The guy who I should talk about the yeah. stuff with. Uh, and then so they they're like, they're like, hey, uh, the Handmaid's Tale lady. Uh, yeah, they they're gonna call them. And then and then uh, Paula's like, yo, fucking scram! Tells he walks to scram, and then she fucking hides. Which they're shapeshifters. Why didn't she just sh- shape like she yeah, just shift into just become the it, old lady? It is, idiot. Yeah, and make this seem like she's not in control of it. Yep. But then she's actually in control. I, I think this was just their ploy to try to extend the supposed mystery of what's up with these weird creatures that all hang around uh, uh, <sighs> NVIDIA it, lady. It, it really feels like the script was just written it once and never revised. Yeah. Like they just went forward and they were just aren't, like, aren't you curious why she hangs out with a bunch of weirdos that no one sees? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so, then, um, then so they're, they're she, again. Picard talks to Paula and is like, "Hey, uh, turn on your video. I have to see you." <laughs> it's fucking pervert, dude. This guy's a yeah. pervert, dude. And so he tells her, "Hey, uh, do you want to tour the ship or not? What the fuck do you want, dude?" And she's like, "Oh yeah, I'd love that. It's a beautiful to tour." And she's like, "All right, somebody will be there soon." And they're like, "I'm gonna send my most trusted person, the one who has the most tact and is gentle, Worf." Go over there and show your goddamn meeting call, dude. <laughs> so yeah. then th- there's a scene with her and like the, the lady from Game of Thrones. And, and like, again, like she's like, oh, this is my only chance to interact with different people, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, no explanation why she's very upset. But she's like, no, you must not go. And it's like, just shapeshift into something bigger than her and fucking bitch slap her. And be like, yeah. no, get, out, get the fuck out of the way, dude. Yeah. Um, but she doesn't, which is yeah. stupid. So then uh, Worf shows up. And she's like, well, the young lady won't be taking the tour. Show me around. Mm. And Worf's like, oh, here we go, dude. I'm going to have to show her my mating call. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, they take off. And then uh, the next scene is Wesley Crusher asking uh, Riker for advice to how to talk to the ladies. Yes. Which, which is, is the right finally person the, to go to. Finally the right yeah. person to ask yeah. about this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Dude, she should have asked uh, Polanski. That's what she should have, she should have gotten. And she would have been really technical, like, well, then the, you know, do you know the the penis and the vagina and the sperm, and then she's <laughs> well, that's what Data like, was doing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of data, was. data was Data was being like, well, you are technically compatible, and it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Riker's like, hey, uh, Galen, let's go. Can you help me with this thing, <laughs> Galen? <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Guinan. It's fine. Galen's Guinan, fine. Guinan, it's Guinan. Fine. <laughs> He's like, uh, come help me. Uh, look, she's she's new this season. I just barely learned no, the first fine. season character. You're, you're fine. You're that. fine. Don't worry. Guy and the Adventurer. Yeah. Guy or Kaylin, one of the two. Uh, so <laughs> so um, she he sits her down, and then they all go to the table. Mm. And this is a scene I pulled because I I really really I, l- I this, this is, scene is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, you play play it. It. let's play it. Now, first words out of your mouth are the most important. You may want to start with something like this. Here. You are the most beautiful woman in the galaxy. But that might not work. Yes, yes it would. (laughs) You don't know how long I've wanted to tell you that. But you're afraid. Yes. Of me? Of us, of what we might become. Commander? Or that you might think that was a lie. Maybe I do think it's a lie. Can you think I'm not sincere? I didn't say that. There's nothing wrong with the line. It's like a knock at the door. Then you're inviting me in. I'm not sending you away. That's more than I expected. Is it as much as you hoped? (laughs) To hope is to recognize the possibility. I had only dreams. Dreams can be dangerous. Not these dreams. I dream of a galaxy where your eyes are the stars and the universe worships the night. Careful. Putting me on a pedestal so high you may not be able to reach me. Then I'll learn how to fly. You are the heart in my day and the soul in my night. I don't think this is my style. (laughs) Shut up, kid. (laughs) Tell me more about my eyes. (laughs) I I was watching this with Sarah and she was like, so this this does Riker and Guinan become a couple this season? (laughs) I mean they they could hook up, right? (laughs) 
I mean, this is just an improv exercise. But Guinan's definitely into it. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, I don't usually get to flirt this aggressively. I'm (laughs) I'm going to take every second of this that I can possibly take. I really, I really thought that scene was really funny and I enjoyed yeah. that's, that. Yeah. That was the highlight for me for this episode. Yeah, yeah it's, it's fun because Riker's also like, oh, she's keeping up with my stupid lines. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, whose line is it anyway? <laughs> she's yeah, yes, Andy. It's... And yes, Andy. <laughs> I was about to say, this is a yes, and exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, for, but for sexual tension. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's classic improv. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going until you're uncomfortable. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Until somebody makes it uncomfortable. Uh, so then uh, the lady, uh, the Game of Thrones lady goes and she's taking a tour of the ship and they go to engineering mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she sees Jordy's work and immediately she's like, oh, it seems like you're doing wrong, dude. And, uh, and I'm like, fuck, dude, just keep yourself. Dude. Another yeah. one of these fuckers who comes yeah. and tells engineering or whatever that, oh, you're yeah. doing it wrong. Yeah. Another traveler, dude. And you're like, yeah. what do you, why do you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're lady, like a monster. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? You're not an engineer. <laughs> and then uh, she even tells him like, what could be going wrong? And then she's like, well, I'll be back to check your work <laughs> or your progress. And like, what a she, jerk. She reminds me less of like, like someone who's actually knowledgeable and more like the person, the, uh, the stupid person who goes up to a scientist and says, Oh, well, what if it's this way? And the scientist is like, we've already looked at that way before. You feel like you think you're the first person to have thought of that. We've already thought of 20 different things you've never even thought of yet. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> and she's like, no, I know you. Why it can't be this. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> it's like when anti-vaxxers are like, well, do you know Mercury is in vaccines? It's like, yes, it's in there. They have these things in there. There are reasons for these <laughs> things in there. Like You think these haven't been discussed. <laughs> I think part of that comes from how, like, she, she, look at how she's dressed. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 That's not a technologically advanced woman. Oh. Yeah, that's true. It's a hobo. Uh, <laughs> Get out of and, here. And, and, and um, so then um, uh, he, he, Wesley goes to, her, to uh, Paula Patton's uh, room. Yeah. And then there's a guard out there, and he's like, hey, Wesley, what can I do for you, man? And he's like, oh, nothing, you know, you're just uh, walking down the hallways, uh, just, uh, oh, the door opened. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he, again, he's like, he, he so easily falls in love, dude. I don't understand this, dude. Even even I- in my youth, I, this never happened to me. I was never like, just be, I did, never became just an idiot because I, I, <laughs> I was looking at a young lady. <laughs> Well, to be was fair, I feel like there is a lot of stories throughout the 80s and, and 90s where people were enamored gentlemen or young young teens like Wes were acting just like that. Right. And I mean, all, in terms of media. Yeah. And I guess it's for plot contrivance because like, this episode simultaneously moves too slowly and too quickly because yeah. it moves too slowly in the sense that nothing's happening. But I guess it moves too quickly in the sense that Wesley and uh, Salia's relationship are like moving really fast for people who just met. <laughs> it's a cartoony yeah. romance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's def- yeah. It's definitely like a a cartoon romance where yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, I will show you this. Oh, chocolate mousse. Yeah, and then oh. like the the <laughs> fucking lobster starts singing. La 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 la. You gotta kiss the girl. Um. <laughs> So anyway, the, she invites him in, even though there's a guard out there. He like he like outranks him because he's like, uh, she invited me in, dude. Like vampire rolls. Uh, <laughs> so she she invites him in, and he's like, uh, uh, he calls vampire rolls, and he goes inside, and he's like, oh yeah, if you invite right. me, I, I I cannot deny. Yeah. Uh, and he goes and in the there. Guard and, has the guard has no ability to. I know. to <laughs> and also, the guard protest. doesn't even know what to do. Yeah. Also, the guard. <laughs> I feel like. Anybody else, any other actor would have been like, like he would have been like, oh, 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 you know, give him one of those. But no, this guy has no reaction. He's like, this guy doesn't seem to understand what's even happening. Yeah. yeah. I'm not even convinced (laughs) that he was actually standing guard. I think it was just kind of walking through the hallway. (laughs) Yeah. And they happened to co like, you know, in front of the door. (laughs) Yeah. In front of the door. Yeah. yeah, That was not his station. Yeah. Oh, security at in the Enterprise is great. They're very good. Yeah. <laughs> Warf runs a tight ship. <laughs> and and so, where's Tasha when you need her? Goddamn. <laughs> um, 
the 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 Paula was is like, hey, can you show me how to use this food thing thing that you have here? Yeah, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you just uh, you just ask the computer and I'll, I'll make a thing. And it then makes you I sound have, stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you literally and then, just talk to it. Yeah, and, and then make. he's like, well, what do you want? And he's like, oh, I want something sweet. And he's like, all right, give me a a a, a moose from the third wheel of Venus and <laughs> I wish you just asked for a handful of sugar packets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A computer, make Mound Splenda. Of sugar. Make Splenda. <laughs> and then she shapeshifts like a proboscis. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then she laps she, that out of his palm. She, yeah. she, she, romance. She turns into the, uh, the thing from Men in Black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More sugar. <laughs> <laughs> she turns into Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he gets some chocolate. Man. And then, and then <laughs> yeah. 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 I love this city. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I have There's a question. Too many things. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have, I have a question about you that. You might as well have him say, do that, but have him say, you have a bagul problem. Yeah. yeah. You, you have <laughs> all like three the, Vincent D'Onofrio things in one. You have a sugar problem. <laughs> you have a sugar problem. <laughs> this is my rifle. Yeah. <laughs> there are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, um, so he, he gets rid of the moose, and I have a question now for the, for this. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. what is this? This this is like um, what is it called? A food processor, food dehydrator? What is this called? <laughs> it's a replicator. It's just a replicator. It's a replicator. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it makes anything, but it also makes food. So it can make guns. It could make a gun. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. wanted to, do. I, I, they, they might they might have a, a restriction on the gun. What about yeah, nunchucks? Possibly. Uh, um, well, if you're if you have that 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 pass that lets you have an unchuck then yeah oh okay. <laughs> and then chuck pass yeah <laughs> just start fucking nunchuck you know like from the fifth element yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> nunchuck pass. Uh, uh, so so um but uh, so my question about this thing is yeah the thing showed up with a glass did it also make the glass like the, yeah. the the bolts. Okay, so now how, what if what if there's glass in the fucking chocolate? I can't trust this fucking. Machine. Oh, like it fucked up a little bit. Yeah. There's like little uh, bits of glass in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to eat that chocolate. You're not wrong. You know, yeah. if that's a common replicator problem. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, yeah. fuck again. Yeah. You know that would be a, that might be a good reason. Kopolansky. Kopolansky. I fucking eat the glass again. <laughs> well, that might if, if if shit like that happened like a lot, it might be a good reason as to why like there's still restaurants. You know, like. Yeah, the replicator yeah. he's like, like what are you here uh fucking glass in your fucking bowl of fucking chocolate again yeah <laughs> yeah I, I can't i can't yeah. eat there anymore this replicator keeps putting glass in my food yeah i yeah. think it hates me <laughs> um, oh man so so i don't like that and also it, it didn't provide a spoon like what is it supposed to eat with it they started eating with their fucking fingers these gross yeah, fucking yeah that's replica- awful the replicator was smart enough to put it in a bowl but not smart enough to also provide a spoon yeah yeah <laughs> It's really weird, and like I have, I have so many questions about this replicator. Like, can it, can it, can it make a pig? And then I, I cook it <laughs> in my room. You know what I mean? Like, like it's like replicator, make a pig, and then the pig's alive. But then I, I was like, I gotta butcher it. And then like yeah. they showed up. I, I'm, I'm an ambassador on the ship, and like they show up, and like I, <laughs> I got like a, a fire going on. The <laughs> like a spit. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm cooking a uh, pig. Where'd you well, get the so pig? A replicator? The, uh, yeah. Well, again, we're, 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 we're sort of like. Like, cause re- it's, it's unclear what a replicator can really do, at least with the information the show gives you. Yeah. I, I think you're, you're always just like, well, why can't it just do I anything? I think the show usually, <laughs> the show usually stops short of showing like a living being being formed in a replicator. Right. Right. They'll, but they'll it, never show you that, but, but, but they but you will can repli- show things like, uh, they can replicate a huge tree to yeah, send exactly. out a crystalline entity, which is alive. So yeah, that's alive. Yeah, you can't tell me that's not alive, Star Trek. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he makes her chocolate and it makes her eat her with her with her hand because they didn't get a spoon. And mm. so they're flirting and they're 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 into it, dude. And uh, they they head over to see uh, the the Polanski is op- operating on somebody, and the the lady from Game of Thrones shows up with Warwick. Yeah. And she's like, what, what's wrong What's wrong with this this man? Why is he wearing a disco blanket? And she's like, oh, this man has uh, McGregor syndrome, whatever it is. And mm-hmm. he's like, well, we, you got to kill him. You got to kill him. Get <laughs> kill the McGregor syndrome. And he's like, no, 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 no. Like, the, the filters kill off any of the McGregor syndrome that's in the air, and it, 
it, it filters it out. Don't worry. It's safe. And she's like, no, if you won't do it, fuck you. I'll do it. And yeah. like, she gets really angry really it's, fast. It's stupid. <laughs> so stupid. So yeah. stupid. It's so unreasonable to an, yeah. a, a comical degree. If she thought it was that dangerous, they can't, she shouldn't have brought them on the ship. Period. Yeah. yeah. It's a ship. You're in space. Yeah. There's no. nothing. <laughs> yeah. All, all it sounds like is farts and old people <laughs> in that ship. Hey, man, remember, yeah. these are alien temperaments. They don't get That's angry true. the same way we do. They get even. <laughs> um, so so she, he's like, if you won't take action, I will. And she starts shape shifting. And she becomes a uh, fucking like uh, ugly ass Chewbacca. And there, uh, she manhandles fucking Worf, dude. She mm. puts hands on him, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Worf's like about like a, well, okay, we'll we'll set an order. They call security. Everybody shows up, and they're about to shoot the thing, and mm-hmm. they're like, no, 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 stand down. And then they like she she lets go of Worf as che- Chewbacca, and then she <laughs> turns she turns back into her human form, and then. Worf is still gonna just fucking pop her in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, respect you, that. I respect that. I respect him being like, yeah. I have to strike now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You never yeah, he know when he's gonna the the and he's like, shit out of her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Picard's like, hold up, hold up, hold up, dude. Yeah. And then, but Worf is like, fucking at a 10, dude. He's like, give me a fucking reason, dude. I will teaser you, dude. I'll tease you <laughs> and go to town in your face, dude. Because now I know that I that I got free reign on this fucking thing. Because he turned it's into perhaps Chewbacca. the most dignity he's been able to salvage post jobbing. Yeah, thus far. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, like afterwards, she keeps saying like I'm more powerful than all of you, but it's like yeah. you're on a spaceship with yeah, people just armed with like shift. phasers. Like, are you more powerful than guns? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If we shot you with the photon torpedo, yeah. would you live? Yeah, yeah. They don't, definitely don't yeah. test this theory. This doesn't make any yeah. like you're the, really calling like, not showing. Look, if you get out of hand, we send you to transporter sixty nine, and <laughs> he's got he's got a drum of fucking motor oil that would just, <laughs> and just beat the shit out. <laughs> She's quite cocky for yeah, a, 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 this weird little yeah. Professor McGonagall thing. We'll call like, Miles O'Brien. He'll. Fucking go to the replicator, replicate some fucking nunchucks, and just beat the <laughs> shit out of you. <laughs> well, Miles O'Brien, like, legitimately, could probably just be like, "Well, let's just t- transport you to the dead of space, <laughs> and you'll just freeze to death <laughs> in space." <laughs> You're powerful now. <laughs> we'll 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 see about that. She's w- she's way too cocky for what she what she thinks she can do. It's very um, strange. And so. So um, uh, he's like, "Hey, just just take her to her room and just fucking lock her up there, dude. Just be cool, dude." And then we go back to Wesley's. Wesley's showing this girl all these beautiful planets that she's never visited and she's only read in books. And just uh, they're having a ball, dude. They're just yeah. like flirty took, shit, dude. He took yeah. her to the planetarium, and they're all watching. Yeah. <laughs> and he's trying to, you know, figure out a way to put her arm around his arm around. Yeah, her. yeah. He's he's trying to like, uh, oh, and. Uh, it, it, it's really stupid and silly and it, it could have been fun, but it, it's not, it's not fun. This episode <laughs> sucks. Dude. Uh, so they go take her back to her room and she's like, where is fucking Paula? Uh, and, and they're like, they're really pissed off because Paula's gone. And she's like, well, I'll find her dude. And he's like, well, how, how are you going to find her? Like, it's my job to protect her. And there's a whole fight about that. And he's like, well, she's on the ship and my, sh- my job is to protect the ship. So, She's under right. my protection, so it's a long story. Just stay the fucking room, you fucking lady. <laughs> um, and so uh, he, he uh, Picard goes to you know, Counselor Troy and says, "Hey, what's going on?" And she's like, "Well, it, the, the feelings I'm getting is a, like of a mother protecting her daughter, so that's genuine." You know what I mean? There's nothing mm-hmm. sketchy there. Um, mm-hmm. And so, which um, makes you think it's going to be a twist. Yeah, like like she's actually the mother, and the mother and that's father never died. Yeah, you know. Or she's something. both. Yeah. She's got a clacka, and she's both mother, father, and <laughs> sister. You know, uh, and so I was like, "Oh, fuck it! This is interesting. Let's see where it goes. It goes nowhere." That's spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, and next part. thing, yeah. next thing you, uh, it, that's that comes up is like uh, Wesley takes this chick to uh, the bar where they can't drink. They have, they drink club sodas, I guess, and <laughs> eat chocolate or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, they're talking and. 
basically like he's he, she's telling him about like when she was little and all this stuff it's boring shit dude boring <laughs> ass shit dude this fucking scene and then he's like well why don't you stay on the, on the enterprise and maybe you know i'll get to other bases if the goal line is extended a bit you know what really bothered me <laughs> so like there's like five times in a row where wesley goes well one day you'll get to go there too yeah and she keeps saying no i can't and he doesn't ask her why. No. He just he's, keeps repeating, well, you know, one day you'll get to see it too. Like, he's not a good listener. No. He's a, <laughs> he's a daft, daft fucking <laughs> bitch. Like, just, yeah. like, he never even bothers to be like, why? <laughs> it's not until they get to yeah. the fucking 10 forward that he's like, wait a minute. Oh, you, you've you been talking this whole time. <laughs> yeah, and that's yeah, far. Yeah. And that's far from yeah. the shittiest Wesley gets. Yeah. In this oh episode. yeah. Oh, the and, worst is the end. What a and, piece oh, of shit. Yeah, and, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. And and Wesley has been talking about his mom probably this whole time because we, we, we cut into the conversation like halfway in. So I miss my like, mom a lot. Yeah, my mom. She left me and blah blah blah. And oh, blah, blah, I think she it. fucked the captain. Yeah, I, I think know. she fucked Picard. And Picard won't tell me. He wouldn't look me in the eye. Dude. I think he's my father, but I can't ask anybody because no one will tell me. Yeah. Uh, and you're oh. like, yeah, you know, it's hard over here because, like, when you when you're a war criminal, nobody likes you. Yeah, uh, yeah they just make you an ensign and yeah. put you on the bridge and let you oh. fly the ship. Yeah. <laughs> they gave you that responsibility. Yeah. Life is terrible for war criminal Mozart um, and Wesley. So yeah. uh, this is a good show. She, she, <laughs> She, she, he's like, well, Wesley's like, well, you could stay, dude. You just fucking stay, dude. Fuck everybody, dude. Just fucking let's just dance. And she's like, and she gets, she gets really. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, just Wesley being so simple minded and just telling her, don't worry about, just dance your feelings away, <laughs> or some stupid shit like that. Given his attitude in this episode, I could see him saying something stupid like that. <laughs> it's like when uh, when my mom was feeling like you just have to believe. Yeah. Uh, he's a holodeck, a load in, uh, load in, load abandoned in factory, yeah. uh, load in, abandoned yeah. factory. It's like, and it goes into Footloose. <laughs> uh, abandoned factory, 1984, with a Volkswagen, yellow Volkswagen. <laughs> Um, so oh, anyway, um, no. so she runs out and then, uh, G- Galen, G- yeah, G- yeah, Galen, yeah, Galen, Galen shows up and she's like, <laughs> Hey, sometimes when, when so she's, I like that she was very specific. She's like, sometimes not all the time when ladies run, you got to just let them go Yeah, because you might be a fucking yeah. predator, but <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Uh, when, when she when she runs, she wishes you to follow. Yeah, uh, and yeah. I like that. I like that she was very like hey, sometimes calm down, not all the time, dude. Don't yeah. be chasing waterfalls. <laughs> uh, and so he runs and he chases waterfalls. her down. Yeah, and there's a he was made out of there was a water man in that music <laughs> video. Why the fuck isn't he Jason Waterfalls? <laughs> you know, I I okay. I was also one of those people that says go go Jason Waterfalls. You know? does, but the music video does I everything know, exactly. in his power to mislead you. <laughs> Absolutely. He's a, there is a water man in that music that video. That is clearly Jason Waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why can't we just accept that it's a double entendre? And Why can't on? we just accept <laughs> the simple fact that this water man is Jason Waterfalls? <laughs> oh my god. I'm dude. sorry, everyone. <laughs> So, so Jason Waterfalls uh, chases, chases her down and she's like, I just can't stay here. I can't have this life. And she's, I'm a senator. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go fucking exploit poor people. Uh, uh, and, so, and so she, she's like, I can't, I can't stay here. We're so off the rails. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry keep going. She's like, I can't stay. I'm crying. Real tears, human tears. And she and Wes is like, if there's a wheel, there's a way, baby. Come on, dude. Yeah. And Oh my god. Yeah. He's like, and, come on, baby. Uh, come on, baby. It's okay. Stay on the and, enterprise. And then and then and then Picard, this is gotta be weird for Wesley, because Picard <laughs> everybody, shows him behind him. Yeah, everybody's behind him. Everybody's behind him. And, and Picard's like, Wes Ensign, step away from her. 
<laughs> and immediately in my head, if I'm him, I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. I did some serious, like, I crossed the line somehow. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's fucking here. Security's there with him. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone from war criminal to like a sexual predator. God damn it, dude, Wesley. Yeah. Um. So Wesley, uh, like steps away and she, she, she leaves. And Wesley, surprisingly, he's not like shocked. Like, oh, why? Are, why is security here? Why? What, what did I do? Could that mean that imply that he knows he was doing a bad thing? Yeah. Also, <laughs> it implies that security's always showing up to pick up Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he knows them by name now. He's, yeah, he's like, like, oh, oh shit. Tim, Tim, Jimmy, I'll be right there, guys. Br- get my Chris Hansen ready. should have been among yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn, have a seat over there. Uh, um, the funny part is like, you know, she walks away. Wes is by himself. They walk away, but Picard stays behind to just glance at Wesley and then just walks away. <laughs> he doesn't give him any yeah. advice. Or tries to comfort him and say it's not your fault yeah. or anything like yeah. that. He just like, kind of glares at him and goes "fuck uh, off." And, 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 and yeah, and, yeah, and Picard no, is not dialed into Wesley's like feelings, conflict yeah. in they any sort of the way. They haven't talked the entire episode. They just, he just walked good, away from him. There's no it's scene fine. like there's no he's, he's allowed to ignore the fuck out of him. There's and no I support s- that 100. percent There's no uh, good old hunting scene where he's like, "It's not your fault," and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I know, I know. No, it's not your fault. No, I, I know, I know. It's not your." fault <laughs> he just starts like crying, losing it dude no no um, but, but wesley just continually keeps saying i know yeah i know you fucking asshole get away uh, from me old man <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so finally jordy fixes the fucking ship which took hours to fucking fix dude. like way longer than yeah it was supposed to yeah and so the the uber's back online and they're they gotta drop all these people and so he basically calls wesley to his quarters and says hey dude I usually won't wouldn't ask anybody to. I don't get in anybody's business, dude. Whoever you, you want to fuck, whoever you want to fuck, you fuck them, dude. As long as it's, consen- it's consensual, you fuck any hole in any port, dude, my friend. And he's like, but I have to ask you to step away from this lady. She's a she's a, a, a mighty morph. Too high an item. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's she'll morph on you, dude, and you you'll you'll be like <laughs> freaked out, bro. And he's like, oh, she's a shapeshifter. And he's like, yeah, yeah, dude. She's a shapeshifter. Just just be cool, dude. And then <laughs> surprisingly, Wesley's like, all right, I'll follow your lead, I guess. Like, I'll do what you want, dude. I'll stop I mean, it sure and- takes a long time to agree. Yeah. Like, it, this it is a captain forever. telling yeah. you a direct order. And you're like, you're just some mm, shit kid. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll do what you say, Captain. Yeah. 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 Little bitch. And so you have a scene with uh, Paula and the lady from Game of Thrones, and basically she's like, you can't see this Wesley character. He's a war criminal and wanted in so many worlds. And she's like, well, you can't tell me what to do, you fuck. You're not my mother. Uh, and and so she she's going to do what she's going to do, you know? Yeah. She wants to dance? Mm-hmm. She's going to dance. <laughs> uh, so then the, they, they approach what looks like the Death Star. Like there, it looks just <laughs> like the Death Star. Yeah, it's true. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's got even got a crater on it yeah, that looks like yeah. it's the laser. I mean, sh- shooting I hole. guess that is a moon, but it, it that's looks no like a moon. Death Star. Oh wait, no, that is a moon. Yeah, that, that <laughs> this like, time no, it no, is that a is a moon. moon. Yeah, it's a moon. Yeah, sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, so they get to Nvidia three, and they're like, "All right, we're gonna drop these people off. <laughs> we're done with these fucking fucking." people that are just built idiots. a computer so yeah it just built it's like in your head and, and so <laughs> and she shows up and then she shows up to i don't know is this a rec room i don't know where the fuck he, this room that she shows up to where wesley's at looks mm-hmm. way bigger than any other private quarters i've ever seen bigger than jordy's room data's room who are officers bigger than anybody's room dude bigger than the fucking captains is, is but he's playing like a weird like solitaire game of chess or battleship it look, yeah it looks like solitaire battleship yeah or something yeah and, and but like is this his room is this what where are we and it's why a room are there that's large enough to fit two two monster monster costumes yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically um so uh he's like he's like oh i'm not supposed to see you baby i'm sorry <laughs> and, and she's like do you want me to leave and she's like he's like nah stay sit down dude uh so they stay and and so basically she says like dude like this lady doesn't want me to see you and she's like why and she's like well because you know you're gonna corrupt me uh, things you know and then they fucking they kiss dude and so so the moment she said oh because you're gonna corrupt me i thought that was the old lady who came I over to, to, to test him yep yep I, and too. i thought he was gonna like pass a test and she was like you know what you're all right kid 
Me too. Or I thought he was going to fail the test and she was going to go raw. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and he he him. Either either are pleasurable outcomes. Yeah, that's fine. (laughs) But 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 then like he she never she never changed. And then like they kiss, and then all of a sudden like Wesley fucking loses his shit because there's a fucking werewolf in the fucking room. (laughs) And he's like, "What the fuck, dude?" Uh, and it kind of looks like, imagine if they sent a werewolf through the contraption from the movie, The Fly. Yeah. And then they yeah, turned yeah, into like yeah, half yeah, fly, yeah. half werewolf. That's what yeah. this yep. thing looks yep. like. Dude. Yep. And then she's and like, Wesley, get out of here now. Get the fuck out. You fuck. God. You're going to die. You piece of shit. And, and Wesley's like, Wesley calls security and security shows up and, and, and then Paula turns into fucking the creature as well. Yeah. Yeah. And she's even they uglier. anamorph at each other. Yeah. And they're but like, she looks even goofier. Yeah. She looks like yeah. a Sesame Street like thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not like a She looks yeah, like, like a, a Sasquatch with bug eyes. Yeah, yeah. She looks like she could guest star next to Big Bird. I know. And then finally they like they, they don't even hit each other or anything. They're just like, "All right, let's calm down. <laughs> let's just calm down." And then they ship back and then Wesley looks at her like, "What the fuck, dude?" Like he loses his shit, dude. And yeah. I thought, you know what I thought? I thought, man, this is a really, it's, this episode's going to change because this is like the crying game, dude. You know, like you, oh. you find out it's not, it's something different, but you're like, you know what? My, you're inside. You're the same. I have, my feelings haven't changed mm-hmm. and we're mm-hmm. fucking fine, dude. You know, like I, I thought this was going to be a very good. No, it's anti crying game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like, gonna be it like it could have oh. been a good re- like redemptive character moment for Wesley. Be like, well, you know, I was never interested in just how you looked. Yep, you were, yep. you know, blah, blah, blah. exactly, dude. We could learn so much about accepting people and like Wesley's like, dude. Turns out like you can fall in love with anybody you want, and like you learn something about like sexuality. You're like, fuck, dude. You could be, you could love whoever you want, an alien, a uh, humanoid, whatever, dude. Right. Any and then and then fucking. Uh, Riker would be like, yeah, dude, if it's got a hole, you can fuck it, dude. <laughs> uh, and so. <laughs> and some so, more, why not? Yeah. 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 And Keep especially if it's. Yeah. And spe- he's like, especially shapeshifters, dude. He's like, you could ask her to be anybody, dude. You want to fuck. T- <laughs> you want to fuck Tasha? Boom. Done, dude. <laughs> you anybody. Want, you want, yeah, dead or alive, you, dude. You're coming with you wanna, me. You want to fuck Frank Sinatra? Bam. Yeah. You Bam. Got him right dude. there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoever, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, that, that young lady from that, that fuck planet that remember you, when you were going to be executed. Oh yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Get fucked there her. you go. Anybody did. Yeah. Your dad. So, have your dad come back and fuck yeah. him. No, yeah. Just, let's Anybody. Make it, make it weird. Anybody. Yeah. Make let's, it weird. Let's, let's, let's give you closure in the worst way possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the card's right there. Uh, <laughs> Um, so uh, they go to escort them to the transporter and, um, it, Worf wants to talk to the, the lady and basically he like, they have a really cool scene, uh, cause, cause they're going to both, they're going to separate here. The old lady's going to go her way. Right. Uh, and this girl's going to go like roll her planet. Uh, yeah. and, and Worf and the old lady have like a really cool moment where she, where he's like, he's like, man, you almost, you almost fucked me up, dude. <laughs> I almost fucked you up, and there's a yeah. really sweet scene, like like a. I know you're a good warrior, and I, you know, I'm a good warrior, so we're cool. It, it doesn't feel very earned. All of the sappiness, yeah. all the sappiness at the end, and the sentimentality comes kind of out of nowhere because we just yeah. had an almost big fight scene, and there wasn't like a conversation to like calm it down. Mm-hmm. They just stopped fighting, and then suddenly we're like, "Well, we've reached the end of our long journey now," and they all start like saying their goodbyes and you're like you never liked each other you should all be saying good riddance yeah yeah Yeah, it starts off correctly it's like i'll bet you're happy to get rid of me and he should just say yes Yes. (laughs) get out of here and then and then uh this girl paula shows up to wesley's room and wesley is a dick dude what this is this this is probably like fucking asshole we, we joke about what he has done but this is probably consciously the worst he's ever been yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like this is this is such a shitty character moment for Wesley that you can see plainly in the show. It it's so bad. He's just yeah. a huge he's like he knows there are aliens and things and humans and aliens, you know, have relationships. He's seen and witnessed so many energy-based entities already. Yeah, like why is he dude, such a he, piece of he shit? Was, <laughs> he was about to he was about to fuck the traveler, dude. Yeah, Chap. exactly. And he yeah. won't he won't fuck. And this is right here is a chance to fuck her. Like she came in and she was like, "Hey, I'm going to leave blah, blah blah. This is the last time." And he could have been like, "Let's just let's do her body through the talking." Hey, you know uh, what I think? <laughs> you know? I got it. I got it. He's probably just mad at her 
because she could have taken any form and she doesn't look anything like the traveler. Oh, <laughs> snap, dude. You're right. You're right. You're right. He's like, why won't you like, remind me? You think you me love of me? That. You don't even know what I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want to travel. Uh, uh, was so it he, fun he, teasing me with a humanoid form that isn't the traveler? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but basically, like, she's like, hey, she she apologizes for hurting him. And he's a, just a dick, dude. He's a fucking She has nothing fool. to apologize for. I know, for. I know. Yeah, she's nothing but nice. There's literally, she <laughs> has done zero no, wrong. Yeah. Like, nothing no, wrong. Nothing wrong. If it's anything, a mean she saved that. his life. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then Wesley says, oh, I loved you. And it's like, motherfucker, you know, what for two fuck? days, dude. Two days. Yeah. Not even. Not even. It's hours. Sorry. It's hours that he's yeah, done. You her. literally don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> and then she says, I love Stupid you too. Child. And it's like, God damn it. You guys don't know what's going on, dude. You guys oh, haven't my. seen that movie before Sunrise. Um, <laughs> and so. so it's um, so clumsy. Yeah. It, it, they leave and they're, it's in bad terms and it's stupid. And so um, Riker's going to send her back and Miles O'Brien's like uh, pumping some numbers in there and he's like, oh, okay, sure. For- and then they undo the previous scene. Yep. And, like, yeah, immediately- he suddenly wants to reconcile. Yeah. But it's ah! super awkward because he's like, oh, I'll bring you the thing you liked, chocolate mousse. Without a spoon br- again. Without yeah, a spoon again. No spoon again. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, just bring it to you. Yeah. She'll just take a, a fingerful and put it in her mouth <laughs> yeah. and then leave. But not be allowed to take the bowl of moose with I know. her. Why didn't, he bring a, why didn't he bring a Tupperware full of moose, dude? And say, well, yeah, hey, or, for your travels. Or a fucking, yeah, bring like a barrel of yeah, moose. Yeah, like a huge Because you're, you're going to be on this fucking planet for the rest of your life. Yeah. Like, yeah, like a ration huge this camel moose. pack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just bring a huge camel pack full of moose. And a and tube. And a straw in her mouth. Just suck it out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, um, but but he, he's like, I brought you something sweet for the road, baby. And he's like, he's like, I wish there's something I can give you. And he's like, you already did. <laughs> uh, and it makes me wonder. Like, she should have been disgusted. Be like, no, I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't. She, yeah. She's like, ew. Yeah. Riker, Riker, Riker. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Just for the record. Yeah. He's going to tell you later on that I fucked him. I never fucked him, dude. This guy's a piece of shit. He's a fucking asshole. And I just wanted the chocolate. And then uh, that's when you cue Riker and, and Miles looking at each other the yeah. way all yeah. crew members look at each other. Yeah. At yeah. the end of a Star Trek scene to fill yeah. time. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so then it's funny because her, her original form wasn't even like a Wookiee. It was like, yeah, it was all. Yeah, I, guess, I, guess I guess they're just energy beings like yeah. everything. And it's just like, why and did she, you, why did you pretend you were just energy beings the whole time? She also said earlier that our true forms are like, un like incomprehensible to man, but it's like, I think everyone was, you know, it's fine. That's the same they thing. As enough. Like, yeah, it's the same thing as like that lady being like, oh, I can fix your calculation. They actually don't know anything. Yeah. They just make these assumptions that, oh, I can do this better than you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can see light. Oh, OK. Yeah. This just seems like really <laughs> dumb, boastful species. Yeah, yeah, maybe they are. Maybe that's why they're fighting over the fact that half of them live in day and the other half live in night. Yeah, that might be. <laughs> they're just that a bunch of idiots. <laughs> yeah. And then he has a scene with Kaylin at the end and he's like, Hey, uh, I miss her. And he's fucking crying like a fucking idiot. <laughs> he, he's only was with her for like hours, dude. It doesn't. Yeah. Any and he also sense. turned on her like 100, like a, a full 180 on her. He does. Like, yeah. A minute. He and then get went to re- back again. And he then- doesn't get to get redeemed that easily and quickly. That's because he did a really mean thing. It was very uh, mean. Yeah. It was yeah. super mean. <laughs> How can uh, you go through that scene and then go back again? It's it's terrible. Yeah, and then and then he's like, "Oh, Kaylin, I'm never gonna, never gonna feel like this again." He's like, "Eh, you're right." It, you, but, but no, you're gonna you're gonna fall in love again. Just fucking just shut up, dude. <laughs> uh, and then he's like, "There'll be others. Chill out, dude. Just put put it back in your pants, dude." Travel will um, be back one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so um, that that's how it ends. He, he she gives him a pep talk, and they they leave, and that's it. Yeah. I, mean, I will Wesley's, say that like Wesley uh, is a worse person for this episode. Yes, yep. yes, yes, definitely. But I mean, in spite of Wesley's shitty, shitty behavior, that last scene with Guinan, I do like the things she says because it's like because because Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, again, well, that's yeah. They, 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 well. <laughs> they, they wrote Guinan well. Yeah. I mean, they they let her say cool stuff. Yeah. Um, and in that last scene, Wesley doesn't say anything like particularly stupid. But yeah, man, this episode. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a three out of ten. I hate this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is easily the worst episode of season two so far. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll say yeah, two. I'll go in with three, you on three out of three out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Fuck this episode. This episode could can go fuck itself. <laughs> yeah. Just to be slightly different, I'll be I'll I'll I'll, 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 I'll clock it at a four. <laughs> That's fine. Fuck you, Wesley. Again, it's not even the fact that it's a Wesley centric plot it's just a bad plot like they again threw, it, it could, like yeah. in fact at this point i it's it's easier for me to get a little like annoyed with the writers for just throwing wesley under the bus like this you don't like yeah he didn't have to be this shitty yeah this like, episode like it, it almost seems like that scene was written so that they could just make the runtime or something you know he could have like, just been a one note lovesick puppy the whole time and it would have been fine yeah and then like you know like it would have been interesting if he was like, "Wow, you can shape shift," and they're like, you know, and then like they have an exploration of what each other's abilities are or not, you know, like, yep. oh, I'm Wesley good got at- shit though. <laughs> no, no, he'll be like, <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm good at warp engines, you know. Yeah, and she'll be like, oh, I help you in bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll he'll finish very fast <laughs> at warp speed. Eight point eight. Oh, buddy. Uh, fuck this episode. Nah, buddy. You got to go impulse power for those sorts of things. <laughs> yeah, you got to go steady, steady impulse. impulse power. Steady impulse. And towards the end, you ramp up to warp nine. Bam. Nine? <laughs> nine? <laughs> that's that's a little extreme, dude. Uh, the next episode's Contagion. Um, I think this is like... <laughs> Not another fucking pandemic episode. It, yeah, oh it God, is. Dude. But, ah. it, but 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 it's a um, it's a it's a computer virus. You know, like um. Independence Day when they said <laughs> I gave it them cold. You know. Oh my God. Dude. S- same thing. <laughs> they wanted so badly to be War of the Worlds without you know, with, with a fun twist. Uh, we have computers now. They have viruses too. Uh, <laughs> eh? Eh? That movie very badly wanted to be a lot of things at once. <laughs> I guess that's true. Uh, Independence anyway, Day isn't yeah, a very good movie. Yeah, it's pretty. It's that's a, that's that's another topic. But anyway, uh, this is newbie Star Trek. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, if you like Yay. listening to us discussing things in general with all sorts of stuff, we also have other things going on. We have the Fugitive Frames Film Podcast. Yeah, and next episode is going to be uh, fil- f- uh, a drunk-filled review of Marvel's Phase One movies. Ooh, with nice! That'll be interesting. I wonder what her perspective on the Marvel movies are. Poof, so. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be good. That'll Spoiler be good. alert. That'll be interesting. Yeah. And then uh, we also have our ongoing YouTube channel, The Fugitive Games. Well, not The Fugitive Games. It's just Fugitive Games. I don't know why I said that. It's but only The Fugitive Games if you're an old parent. <laughs> have you been watching The Fugitive Games? Uh, we're we're going. We're about to finish Vice City. I think we'll, Vice City will have finished by the time this podcast comes out. If you're and- old enough to call a controller a remote. <laughs> You're the or, one who calls it the Or you're old games. enough to call every game console the, the Nintendo. Then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's the demographic we're shooting for. Yeah. Watch yeah. us at The Fugitive Games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we just we'll probably have finished Grand Theft Auto Vice City by then. Still going to Justice for All. And maybe we'll have started our next game by then, which should be Batman Arkham Origins. Which Whoa. should be a lot of fun because a lot of people don't like that game, but I like that game. I liked it a lot. And I Fuck started you. a save and never finished it. <laughs> but that didn't uh, mean I like I disliked it. It just it I lost steam after playing two Arkham games in a row. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's come to our attention that some people want to to contact us and, you know, give either ask a question or whatever. And we oh. do have we do have Facebook and Twitter and whatever, but I decided to make it formal. So if you guys want to reach us, you can go to contact at newbiestartrek.com and that'll go straight to us and we'll read your message. And if you ask a question, we'll, uh, and we like the question, maybe we'll read it out on the podcast. Who knows? We'll see. Wait, uh, so what you just read off was an email address, correct? Yes. Yes. The email address would be contact at newbiestartrek.com. Yeah. You don't visit that. You send emails to that. Yeah. Send, send your emails to that. And uh, we'll uh, let us know what you think. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions and the question is not stupid, maybe we'll read it out. 
<laughs> and we'll answer it. And we'll no see live it. animals. No live animals. No. No, oh, no touching. No uh, touching. <laughs> Uh, next episode is is uh, another virus episode, contagion, but Cyrus the virus. <laughs> uh, until then, stay safe, everyone. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Later, everybody. Anya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that.